Hello, everybody. I'm Reverend Dr. Red. And, as I'm sure everybody is well aware of by now, Herman Cain is all over the news for this alleged sex scandal. And I believe it's what now, five women that have allegedly come forward. And I'm seeing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people commenting that you no, know, Herman Cain is not worthy to be president and blah, 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 and we can't have a man like this in office. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> my opinion is he didn't do it. Number one, Four of these five women didn't even show their face or their names. No one knows who they are. Number two, Herman Cain clearly stated that he's never heard of that woman, woman before. And he did say that and there was an accusation made against him falsely by someone that had allegedly had problems in her previous workplace. Apparently, every time she didn't get what she wanted, she would scream sexual harassment. All this is, in my opinion, is politics as usual. And it is a smear campaign to bring Herman Cain down. He's a former businessman that raised to the top of the ranks for the primaries rather quickly. And they don't want that. And they're running scared. The liberals are running scared. They feel that Cain actually gets the Republican primary and runs against Obama, that they are going to lose. That Cain just might be able to beat them. And that's all that this is. They're trying to discredit him with a bunch of false accusations. I don't remember the, the lawyer's name that's working with these women. But what I do remember about her is that she is the worst lawyer in the world. All she does is get people for publicity stunts, figuring that not only is she going to make publicity out of it, but there could be a book deal on it, there could be a TV show on it, there could be, you know, whatever. Which naturally goes back to her, I'm sure. And I believe from what I've heard, she's been, in, been doing this since at least the 80s. And so you have a very dishonest, crooked lawyer working with dishonest people trying to smear the name of a perfectly honest, 100% innocent man running for president that just might be able to beat these the liberals. Now let's be realistic about all this. If King gets in office, America might actually start going, get, going back in the direction that she belongs in. Now can anybody fix the, fix the country in only four years? No, it's impossible. There's no way you can take what we have now and put where we once were in only four years. <clears throat> but King can get us there. He can put us, put us in the right direction. And if he gets in, hopefully we can do just that. I mean, we've been saying for how long now we wanted businessmen in office because we have great politicians in that that all they care about is on their pockets and they forgot how to do their jobs. A businessman might actually not be in there not only for us, but he knows the job, what America needs, 
how to run the country. I can go on and on and on. So, now that he's answering that call, let's drop the smear campaign, let's stop believing all propaganda that's coming out against him to try to discredit his name. And let's look at him for the honest, innocent man that he is. Let's allow him to have his to have his due chance with the primaries, and if he gets in the primaries, if he wins the primaries, he must get him in office. Once Kane's in, the, in office, let's start working on all his career politicians, and one by one, let's get them out of there and get new blood in Congress. Let's fix this country, but this country is not going to be able to be fixed. If we allow ourselves to keep on being bought by all these smear campaigns, to are just aiming to, to discredit the, the decent Americans that are trying to save that country with false accusations. Let's look past the false accusations. Let's look past the smear campaign, and let's look at, at, at for what it really is. The liberals running scared. They're trying to defeat him in the primaries to get somebody in office uh, in, the, in the primary that they feel either A, they can actually beat, or B, if they lose, they still won because now whoever they're running against is still part of the same problem. A career politician doing whatever he's won before them have done. Um, I don't want to hear any more nonsense coming out in the direction of Cain. Cain can help push America back in the right direction. I personally feel he didn't do, do any of these despicable crimes. All this is is the liberals running scared. They're trying to take him out while they can. So far, they have not been able to. Let's keep it that way. Let's show Cain that we stand behind them. Let's show Cain that we do want a true American in that, or in that office. And that we do want America to, to return to the greatness that she once was. Let's show Cain that we do not want America to continue going where it's going. Let's show Cain that we want our jobs. We want a booming economy. We want a better house market. We want our jobs back home. We want our manufacturing back home. All of our companies back home. All of our money back home. Cain is the only man that will make this happen. And that's why this campaign is coming out so hard. It's a smear campaign. And that's all it is. Stop buying into the lies and the deception. Let's get a true American into an American office. And let's allow him to help push America back in the right direction. Let's keep the liberals running scared. Let's show the liberals that have a reason to be running scared. Let's get them out of here. Out of the quarters. Out of Congress. And out of all political seats. Local, state, and federal. All new blood, clear across the board. No more career politicians. If you buy into this smear campaign, all you're doing is allowing more and more and more career politicians to keep their careers as politicians. 
not as Americans doing their jobs for Americans, but politicians doing their job of lining their pockets for themselves. So please, let's not buy into this smear campaign anymore. Let's quit the, the, the defamatory, derogatory comments by Herman Cain. Let's all realize that he's innocent in this. This is all a scam. It's all false accusations. Let's, let's realize that they're trying to crush him. And let's prove them that they cannot crush Herman Cain. They cannot crush the American spirit. And they cannot crush America. Let's let them realize that yes, they may have gotten America down to her last breath. But America fought back screaming. And jumped back to life. The only way we can do that is to stop buying into the propaganda of the mainstream media. And let's get Kane in office. If they're scared of Herman Cain, there's got to be a reason why they're scared of Herman Cain. The reason why they're scared of Herman Cain is because he's not one of them. Their trend is now over. The corruption will now be over. That's it. No more. America will once again be for Americans, by Americans. No more career politicians telling us what to do. It will now be the Americans telling the Americans in office what we want done, what we need done, and they're going to do it for us. And they're supposed to. And when, we, and when we're attacked, They'll defend us like they're supposed to, not criminalize us. You want to stop the orders? You want to stop the TSA roping you? You want to stop to all these drug cartels running the streets? You want your home to be worth the same amount of money, maybe more money than it was when you bought it? You want jobs? You want jobs back in America? You want money back in America? You want the economy to boom? You want your chance to make your million dollars? Then forget about the mainstream propaganda. Let's not buy into the liberal nonsense. And let's get Kane in office. Let's start crushing America now. Time's almost up. This is our last chance. America's on the last breath. We need to buy into the liberalism, propaganda, and watch America die. And we can realize it for what it is a bunch of false accusation, lies, and deception and put our main man Herman Cain in office and breathe life back into America and show everybody the liberals here in America as well as everybody in the rest of the world that you might be able to bring America down you might be able to get America on, on a deathbed. But America will jump back up stronger than ever. You want to show that America will jump back up stronger than ever? Right out of a deathbed, just like that? Forget the smear campaign. Vote King. God bless.